Hello, BookTube. I'm going to do try and do a short one tonight just as a palate cleanser to wipe off the last video I did, which was terrible. Um, I was looking at a spreadsheet I have of where I keep a list of things I want to read, and I found a link to a Wikipedia page on there. I didn't remember what it was for, so I decided to click through, and I went down a rabbit hole, rabbit hole on a story called Linogen versus the Ants. It's a translation of a German story by Carl Stevenson. Uh, looks like the German version was similar to something Linogen's War with the Ants would be more accurate, but apparently, and it appeared in Esquire magazine 1938, apparently no translator was um, credited in the English language Esquire version. The speculation is that Carl Stevenson translated it himself because he worked mainly as a translator of other works in Germany. He's a very obscure writer. Uh, just reading about the background of this story itself was pretty cool. Maybe that's why I linked it. I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing that I heard some other booktuber talk about it. And I was thinking that's why I really want to read this story, Lineage of the Ants. And I don't know who it was, though. It could have been Greg and another bibliophile reads. I'll mention him anyway because he's one of the few booktubers I know who, who reads a lot of short stories like I do. He's a wildly popular uh, subcategory of short stories on booktube. Or maybe it was uh, Book Time, uh, Mark at Book Time with Elvis. He talks about short stories too. Anyway, I'm happy to shout out those two channels anyway because I really enjoy both their content. And I hope Mark is feeling better. He's been under the weather. So anyway, Linogen versus the Ants is a adventure story. I think, you know, for people who like to build a fire or or especially what's what's the story uh the most dangerous game that kind of that kind of level of story uh from the early days of of adventure fiction which was a subgenre of fiction that people don't write much anymore outside of you know science fiction uh short stories but uh, it's and I guess this is considered a science fiction short story anyway. I won't, I won't believe the whole plot. Basically, this guy's got a plantation in Brazil. It's kind of a colonialist story. He's German. Linogen is German, which makes sense. that. And this is uh, pre-World War II, but I'll let you go. If you're interested, you can go in and read a, kind of the background, different stories, that that um, uh, different things about this author who was apparently a Nazi. Uh Anyway, I didn't know that when I read the story, but because I'm just seeing this paragraph right here about that. Anyway, it's it's a very uh, interesting story because it's so fast paced and gripping, and it's this this guy who's got this plantation, and he uh, and these ants are coming, these black ants are coming like an army over to destroy the plantation and he decides to go to war with them. Uh, it's got a great ending, I think, a very gripping sort of uh, uh, final couple of uh, paragraphs. I, I really... I, now I feel bad because I'm talking about this story because it was written by a Nazi. Anyway. Also, it was... Adapted many times. This is another reason I was interested. It was adapted many times for radio. It was in, it was also made into a play. I mean, not into a play, but into a movie with Charlton Heston. But it was it was done at least three times for the CBS radio series Suspense, uh, with uh, William Conrad playing Linogen two of the times. Then later, it was adapted again as a. Uh, it was adapted twice with 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 uh, what's his name uh, Robert Con uh, William Conrad, and then once with another actor, and then a third time later, and a decade later, it was uh, adapted as a 
So it was adapted like three times in the 40s and then adapted once in the 50s again with Robert Conrad. And I listened to one of these. I listened to the earliest one and it's not as good. So I was excited about that. I thought it would be, make a, a really interesting sort of double bill tonight because there's another story I'm going to listen to as soon as I go to bed, which is the... which is by um, the guy who wrote The Monkey's Paw. Uh, it's called The Toll House, J.J. Uh, J. Jacobs, I think. And this one I was alerted to you by um, Cat's Novel Adventures. She did a review of The Toll House, and I'm gonna, and I'll link to that story too. I haven't read it yet. But I love the monkey's paw, of course, so I told her I would listen to that and, and get back and what that's about. God, these videos of mine are just getting worse and worse. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do tonight. The reason I was interested in William Conrad as an actor who did the audio version of this of this. Linogen versus the Ant story is because I've been also listening to Gunsmoke, the radio show Gunsmoke, from the early or late forties, early fifties, and William Conrad is the star of that. So instead of listening to an episode of Gunsmoke tonight, I listened to to that Linogen versus the Ants. But I read, I probably should just listen to Gunsmoke because it's not really as good because it's kind of diverse. If you read the story, which is easily found online. Uh, it's not really something you would think is really lends itself to radio. Uh, not at all. I mean, there's no dialogue. Uh, it's all from the point of view of, of this lineage and character. And, and so the, the radio play has to add another character in to talk to, to narrate and to talk to lineage in about stuff. And, so I think it kind of diffuses the energy. So if you're wondering about that, I would just read the short story. It's about 8,000 words according to the website I saw it on. It goes really quick. Again, I think it's really like a match for something like The Most Dangerous Game or something of that kind of era. Where, uh, And that's all I really have to say about it, except check out all the links, the stuff I mentioned. Hope I remember everything and if you and if you want to read a, a really gripping fast-paced short story uh, you know maybe if you enjoyed the 39 steps which we talked about which people were talking about all, all month something like that that just really just really clips along really fast and is really uh, gripping pace then you could check out this short story I wish this kind of story was still written you know I don't know where it would appear this is kind of a subgenre of fiction, you know, that the adventure story that just doesn't exist anymore. Anyway, that's really all I have to say about it. Thinking of other things to to do longer videos on, and we'll get to those eventually. Have a good night. Thanks for watching my channel. This is Pete.